Next tale is Deathstroke, Inc., number 10, written by Ed Brisson, with art by Dexter Soy, Veronica Gandini, and Steve Wands. And it is a year one story of Deathstroke. And the whole play of this, there's a bunch of stories like this that we say. You have to decide if that's what you really need, if you really well, want to see it. At this point in time it. in the story, like they just got to a really interesting place within this series, and they say, you know what, now that we're at a place where you might like the story, we're not going to do that anymore. And we're going to tell – who is buying a Deathstroke Inc. book, in my mind, who's a hardcore Deathstroke fan, who doesn't know the year one story of Deathstroke? And it really bothers me. When you tell it, it's like almost like the – it's like the surf, – not surface level, but kind of. It's the idea of, okay – we have it's a certain bunch notes. of things that we have to show, and then we'll fill in the blanks by saying it's almost like Steve Rogers or Wolverine. And it, but it always was. I mean, this is not like the idea they like, stole we anything. Got this story complete. I and mean, like in case of this is the thing, is I'm trying to figure out who this would be for who's just picking this up because Deathstroke Inc. was not a big seller, not a lot of big fan favorite either. No, nobody really it wasn't knew a what big was going seller. on in that story before the Shadow War. But like the idea of this, like Priest like toyed around with the idea of the year one story, the origins of Deathstroke, because he was dealing with a lot of the family stuff with Adeline and Jericho and Grant probably like, talking about that stuff. And then what kind of father he was, even when he brought Rose into the things. And the idea, like everything here, I already imagine I just I've known the story of Deathstroke, Slade Wilson, and Fuller Wild and Zorge, but, but anybody can guess. I feel like this. I've seen this in the last Deathstroke story with them just talking about it for yeah, some that reason. You can fill in the blanks already, and it's funny where they're going through them. Oh, there's Isherwood, huh? Right. And I say, and I say that I actually do feel like we covered this in flashbacks. Now, maybe you didn't even just talk about. It. I'm sure we actually had the flashbacks to when the Super Soldier Serum was going on and everything like that, and Isherwood and freaking Wintergreen, Adeline and Grant and everything like that, and even the idea of that for the flashbacks we got, where like you know the way it went, where Slade went off on his own, like a business trip where he was actually doing mercenary work and like Hitman stuff without Adeline knowing stuff. It felt like it was played off better in that than it actually is in this. The thing that gets me in this, like you said, when you end up having the particulars and you're seeing what's going on, nothing's going to shock you. You said it's the cliff notes where, oh, Grant's going to be there. Oh, my. Daddy, I don't want my boy to see me because I'm weak right now. But with it, you have the idea where you're coming out of shadow where you're also dealing with the dark crisis stuff, all that leading. You're at where and the book isn't selling great, right? But you're at the hottest point of the I know. book now. You're at the point where you have to figure out something Ink else me. that can tie in. You have the stuff with Rose. You have the stuff with Respawn being killed. You have all that. You don't the have to. Society. You don't have to step on anybody's toes. And it's Joshua Williamson who was on this book goes off for Ed Brisson to tell this, and it makes me think. Well, we need a couple more issues. We'll cancel it then, but we need to fudge this in. Who cares about this? I mean, if you were actually pulling the book, I think you get rid of it now because, like you said, if you are a Deathstroke fan, it's such a weird play. Deathstroke fans might be buying Deathstroke Inc., but this is, you know, been there, done that. So why are you doing that? The art I didn't, I like that. Well, the art's Soy, amazing. I think but the I book didn't looks love the amazing. art at all. But the, prog- the, I think the art looks amazing throughout this entire book. But the progression of the story, though, where you spend half the issue with the idea that, you know, Slade has been injected with the su- super soldier serum and it's not working out well. His body's rejecting it. And like, I spent months in the, in the hospital like this. And we spend so much time with what him just strapped to a table or laying on the ground dying and being weak and then finally being out and about and stuff like that. Like, you know, you're a bad father, so you got to choose. Do you want to have that life or do you want to have this life? And nothing felt really like I needed to be here for it because it just felt like old hat at this point. I'm like, I think the art's great. You might not like it. I think the art's great. Yeah, I didn't, I'm telling you, even thing. at the beginning of it where you have, you know, them at the bedside and there's Isherwood and Wintergreen, it's like that just didn't seem like it was very detailed. At the one point, looks like Wintergreen smacks Isherwood on the back of the head. And then when you end up seeing the struggling – you know, Deathstroke, the struggling slit, he's there and it's like, you have that red nose chappy look and I didn't think it was well played out. I, I really didn't like the art as much. It ended up later, it gets a little better. But what you're getting here is a weird play because do we need to know, even if you didn't know that Adeline and him ended up having problems and they broke up? Right. You have that. We know that. Well, We've already seen this. Still, but- and that's the thing is in the progression of it where it's like, OK, here's Adeline. Here's Grant, his son. And the idea that they're coming to see him finally after being months in the after this, you know, he 
uh, volunteered for this program for the military. And the military is like, oh, this this whole project didn't work. So we're discharging you honorable. You're getting a pension. Just get out of here. Don't talk about it. But like the idea is like, okay, now that he has the super soldier serum, like I can see the notes where it's like they're going to stay together long enough because they still have to have Jericho. Jericho has to get to a certain age to be kidnapped by the jackal to the point where then Adeline shoots Slade in the face, naked, naked, uh, knocking his eye out and stuff like that. Like all of these moments we've already seen, and in my mind, already seen better and within the last couple of years. And my weird play is, and what I was saying is, we know that this is going to set up, you know, oh my God, Grant, oh my God, he's, he's dead. He got, so, oh my God, the eye. But the problem is, like, is we have to that, go so far for Grant to die, though, and this is just Slade year one. <laughs> but what do you need? And I, I think it'll kind of do some weird things, but with that, you're trying to play something where you have already just had Joshua Williamson play off that whole entire thing with Respawn. That's why he needed Respawn. Oh, he's my boy. He's that. So if you were reading that and understood what that was, this is just nothing. We've already known this. Yeah, we're seeing him try to be a father. He can't quite get it because he said we have had this over and over. We just had it. With Respawn, it, that was what they were playing on. Why are you doing it after the fact when you are playing on everything that you're going to show us already five issues before that you think they're – I don't get it. I just don't. And when you have Ed Brisson doing this, it is just a generic issue. There is nothing that you're going to see here that you couldn't have figured out, and it really plays off the generic deal of Wolverine, Steve Rutt, all that stuff. Even the it, way it plays new. out by the end where it's like, do you recognize this, Dr. Francis Campbell? Well, he was one of the doctors that worked on you, Slade. And the thing is, like, you were the only one of all these you know, candidates we had to survive. Hundreds died. And this doctor is going to come out and freaking spill the beans, and it's going to put your family on the map. Everyone's going to know, like, know what we did. So what I want you to do is go and murder this man, and I'll pay you a million dollars. So this is how Slade Wilson gets a taste for the hit, like the hitman situation. And that's where we end this whole thing where it's just he's going to go and kill this guy because the government has been watching Slade a bit even though they believe uh, previously that the super soldier serum did not work they know now okay look he's been going out doing bar fights he's got wounds that healed overnight so like we know that it worked now we're going to use you as a hitman to go and kill this guy and so we can all save our asses from all the fuck-ups we did during this program that you were involved with okay and even in that i look at the end you have where he's accepting this it looks like and there's grant i'm a real boy he said right behind but with that you end up having the super soldier serum. They even say it, you know, the whole deal. And this yeah. is this thing. But you have this military program going. Oh, my God. Only one person survived this. But, hey, it's not really working out. Let's tear it all down. But we'll let this guy go off to us. Why would they even let him live? I mean, this idea of, hey, we'll just shut down the program. Let that guy off. It didn't really work. But that's still a loose end. That really threw me off with the idea of these government shadowy organization type deals. But it's You're just really slayed. played off. Yeah. And, and like, oh, and not even the idea will pay you off. Hey, you know what, soldier? You were really good. Wink, wink. We're going to give you a million dollars right away. We're, no, he just got his regular pension. He's off. And to the point where he doesn't even have any money as much. And he has to go do security where he ends up saying for high end douchebags. And I ain't no toy soldier. And is that where he's saying that looking through the scope of Bruce soldiers. Wayne? Is that Bruce Wayne there <laughs> Actually, that he's looking know. through there? I think it is. He's like these douchebags and almost like he's there. And I wanted him to do that because what he's doing is going with this scope. Pew, pew. Like he's pretending to kill them. What, are you like, doing, what is he boy? doing? What is he doing? <laughs> but I think that's Bruce Wayne. And, uh, yeah, so all of this going down, you get the character names, you get Isherwood, you get Wintergreen, you get Adeline, you get these things going down. And Go yeah, I just like, really? And then when he goes off, it's funny, when he goes off and he's like, okay, I'm going to be the vigilantes there, and he puts that deal. It looked like that weird play of when, I believe it was Superman who was going around pretending he was almost like a Batman character in, I forget what it was, one of the future stories or something. It just mm -hmm. threw me off where he's doing that. And yeah, he ends up beating up too many people. The government realizes, oh, that's that guy that we let go. And it looks like the super soldier serum's working now. Well, Let's go get him. I'm like, while, it's too much. He was much. arrested when the cops showed up. Like, So I'm guessing they they were pinged when he got arrested. I think he's a little smarter than that, too. But, you know, he's, he's working now. He's like, I want to fight all these I things. I have expected him to go running and doing some flips over freaking. But he said, like, I don't want to try to test this healing factor with, you know, a police officer's revolver, at least not right yeah, now. Yeah, it's just it, it's a little crazy. Early days, uh, Slade. But again, it's it, it, I saw somebody I forget it was either a article or a deal of do we need these year ones anymore? I mean, we've had the bigger ones. Now you're just kind of 
oversaturating it. Batman the Night right now, which is a retelling of the origins of Bruce Wayne becoming Batman throughout his training. I said from the get-go, I don't need another retelling of the Batman's origin, stuff like that. But at least in that story, we are changing things up and doing something new and interesting. This is just everything I already know. And it just feels like, like, why do I need to read this? I would rather have Deathstroke Inc. the way it was. Tell me something I don't know. You were at the hottest point where you could have had, you know, some more things maybe fill in some of the cracks yeah. of, you know, his whole society and things like that. And are we still based out it. of Zandia? What are we doing? Like, has, what has the darkness done to you? Why does it want you to kill the Teen Titans the way you're doing it right now? Do some stuff because we have like how many tie-ins to Dark Crisis right now? This could have done a lot of the heavy lifting, at least for the Secret Society and Slade. Yeah, you could have done that. But yeah, I mean, you have a lot of one shots. You have that Young Justice deal and you have the... uh flashbook going and then a bunch of little things tying in by the end but yeah it would have been nice to see more of that but maybe joshua williamson wants that more in the regular dark crisis book and we'll see but this is just kind of a nothing uh what would you give it's it a six out of ten for me because i really enjoyed the art but it's a story's fine because it's a story i've seen and read a million times right now it's just not doing anything new and there's no reason for anybody who knows slade's backstory to read it yeah and and that's the biggest part it would have been cool if you were getting something like you said of the batman the night where you're getting something new, like, oh, my God, you know, we didn't know what happened after the Infinite Frontier goes. Maybe you're going to get something new, something that ties in to say why he's even a little more insane than just the darkness, things like that. So I will give it a kiss my grit six as well, Eric. 